So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own groups or clubs inside a notebook. So groups can be really useful for, say, if you wanted to make a study group within a class, you can create a group and add people so that you can share posts and documents. Any student can make a group and populate it with other students, and you'll have access to a bulletin and documents just like your classes. So I can give my group a name, a different type of privacy I want to set it as, I can change the permissions to allow all my members to upload documents, and I can add members by searching for their email address here. So I've already gone ahead and made an econ study group. And as you can see, it's very similar to your class pages where I can post on the bulletin. I have a roster of the members. I can upload documents and so forth. So you also have the option to create a page for clubs too. So if you decide you want to start a club at Denison, you can create a notebook page to share information with your members. You first have to get your club approved through the Campus Leadership and Involvement Center along with the Denison Campus Governance Association, but once you do, you can create your club page here. So if I click Create, I can give my club a name, and adding administrators, this would be someone like the treasurer or the advisor. Um, as you see, I'm the president of this club, and I would click Create. So I also have the option to explore existing clubs that have notebook pages. Now, not every club on campus uses notebook to communicate, but it can be really helpful for club leaders to reach out. So that's how you can create groups and club pages with the notebook. Um, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.